All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. How are all my adventures doing? Welcome back to another video of Grand Fantasia. Hey, Maurice. Um, so, interesting things have been happening. Uh, first off, Anubis summoning has been changed. I guess we could try it on you. <laughs> she now does damage. <laughs> And her HP has been increased dramatically. So she is going to be useful when leveling now. She's going to actually be able to do damage. She is basically an actual summon that you can use. She has abilities as well, which I'm interested to see. So she's. <laughs> so essentially, from last video, they saw of us. Of me trying to use her in combat which like I said summonings are pretty useless when it comes to like um Grand Fantasia there they've always been useless what with the VIP summons they actually might become actually useful <clears throat> into like a certain level then they fall off yeah see now she's she's doing a little bit of damage. She's, she's essentially my tank, is what she is. I don't know if she has any aggro abilities. I know she'll aggro more than I will though. So she does more damage for me. Now nah, she doesn't have any aggro abilities. She, as long as she hits harder than me, she actually takes the aggro. This helps me out because um, when I run out of mana, that's that's pretty much where the issue comes in. I don't have to keep using so many potions. And plus I can try to regain mana over time. Um, I believe I can heal her and give her to regen. Yes, I can. So I also figured out that they said uh, Ben, the transformation, were was more useful as a physical class. So Berserker, stuff like that. Assassin. Sad sadly. So maybe they'll make some transformations and stuff. I'm not telling. It might be interesting in the future. Uh, let's see. What is on today's table? I missed a good table yesterday, I believe. Unfortunately. Because I've been busy this whole, this whole week. I say that was good. I wonder will they add in the auto uh auto alchemy. That'd be interesting to see. Wait, why am I trying to fight that way? But no, she just has a defense ability. That's what she has. At least I think so. I actually haven't been looking at the enemies. Hold on, let me look at the enemies. Uh, 
when she hits them. But this is actually a game changer, though. No, she doesn't apply anything from what I see. Oh no, here it is. Oh no. I was looking at the wrong thing. No, she doesn't have any malice build up. Hmm, interesting. Well, we actually can't see that because we can't, you know. Look at that. Unfortunately. Also, I gotta initiate combat for her to take the aggro. Okay, now she does have a malice ability. To where she takes aggro. I think it's an actual, like, taunt. And I'm out of mana. Oh no. Oh no. Um. I'm actually out of mana. <laughs> because they started draining me. Oh no. That'd be funny. If she could take on my party buffs. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, I need to put these, put this on. I forgot about that. I'm actually happy to see that this actually changed. Uh, does she still have a timer? Yes, yeah, she does. One hour. Still. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. I'm wondering. Can I do this? Oh, I can. <laughs> she has reflect now. Perfect. So my abilities can actually be used on somebody else. Finally. Also. I need to also make gold here because I need uh because I need to get my other abilities. Can this heal you too? Ah, it can. Nice. Okay, so now I can actually do combat. We showed her off enough. So now if you guys were really wanting the VIP Anubis, I can actually like highly recommend getting her because she will help you through like you know, the lower content all the way to 80. I say after 80, she becomes useless, for what I'm told. Well, she won't become as strong. I mean, you gotta think about it. For right now, she's dealing like 8,000. I say that, that will dramatically change as we start going up to where she'll just start doing like 1,000 to 100. But it's all right with me as long as she can take like actual aggro. I say, I don't mind as long as she's as long as she's an actual tank and just takes aggro for me. 
That is all I care about. I don't care about the damage, really, afterwards. But seeing her, like, being useful all the way up to that point is actually really nice and amazing. So now we got transformation and summoning. in the game and that they're both very interesting uh let's see so we're heading down here right to shiva because she killed us last time when we ran out of mana <laughs> uh say please take care girl What's this? Oh, my uh, sprite level up. Gotta go do that sooner or later. All right, I gotta go do, do that mission to where I gotta go get a whole bunch of stuff, right? Okay, I wanna group these guys up so I can just AoE them. I have more confidence to do that now with a tank. This is great for solo people, though. A lot of people who like to experience the game solo also like to have a companion with it. I was about to say, why are you stuck? Great for Druid because she can start hitting them one by one. And take an aggro as I just do this. What time is it? I might do like an hour and 30 minutes because I'm doing this before work. That is the only issue, and I have to have it render. And by the time I get off work, I'll have, when I have it rendered, I have to wait another three hours <laughs> for it to, like, fully be ready to upload. I wonder, is she magic or physical? Now I think about it. I feel like she would be physical since she's not doing any like actual magic attacks. I hope they expand on this more in the future. Because there's some interesting things that could come out of this, like making a whole like skill tree for a pet or something. I mean, that's a little bit dramatic and kind of overkill. For the dev team to do, just intimate implement like a whole new feature for VIP pets or something, like give them their own skills and stuff. Ah oh, shit, I'm healing her, not myself. Oof, oof, that could have, that could have been an oopsie. Yeah, that or she comes with like either that or you have like a VIP item or oh. little VIP icon in here to where you can right click and you can give her like commands and stuff like that. Sort of like a class ultimate or something like a sprite sprite bar. Stuff like that. 
I know that would take like a shit ton of time now just to do. Ah. No, stop. Please. No more. Yeah, hit her. Jesus. Oh yeah, she's based off uh, physical. Because she just did more damage when the uh, hat was going on. Yeah, let's hit up this. I do love this hat, though. Happy I got it. I could just transform now. Now I think about it, because I'd be a lot safer to do this. I'm a lot safer in my transformations when she's around. Oh, that's actually nice. I don't know why I'm saying in human form so much. <laughs> oh, this is actually nice. I love this. As I just off of the VIP summon changes. <laughs> this is my this is my favorite server so far. <laughs> Happy I could I could influence something. I was saying like I had like I said, I have a lot of complaints with their official version. So don't worry, there'll be a lot more complaints. <laughs> I mean, these are also other complaints that other players have had too. They've just been lost in time, honestly. Restore mana. Ah, I should probably back on the buff. Too bad Druid doesn't have any more like long party buffs, man. Well, long buffs like um, Cleric has. <laughs> All we have is this a 10 minute reflect that has a chance to it. <laughs> uh, Sag, man. It beats like that, you know? Wish we could be like the cool kids <laughs> clerics, man. Getting their whole 10 minute HP and defense buffs and their attack buffs. Can you tell I've always been jealous of clerics because of those buffs, right? <laughs> Cleric is very strong towards like actual like buffing. Us druids were mana batteries. That's all we were. I say you needed mana, you could you could count on us during that remake. Oh, not only that, our healing was underwhelming too compared to clerics. But the main thing we had is that we were just all arounders. We can either be a physical defense like DPS. If you needed one, or we can either be a tank if you needed one. We could either be a magic DPS if you wanted one, or we could be a sub support. <laughs> that was the best thing about uh, druids. Just like pick your poison. I didn't put back on my. Um, my XP buffs. I don't think uh, times five mana. Well, not mana. <laughs> mana, really. 
I don't think times five um, XP is on right now. Oh my god, I'm still running out of mana. Jesus, brother. Jesus. Wait, did they ever reduce this? I feel like it's been reduced, because isn't it like 20... Is it like 2 million... 500k? Inside of the official version, I think I think they reduced it like kind of slightly, not like too much. I say we'll max that out once we get to uh, Blazing Kazlau. I say, as of right now, it should be important to us. Unless we want to max it out before we, uh, class change, actually. That's also something we can do. Dude, my mana. What is going on? Why am I so mana hungry? Like, it's, it's a lot worse than before. What is going on? Yeah, we're just gonna turn the energy saver because uh, this is this is kind of getting out of hand. Like, holy shit! I think I might get six of this for my talent stage. <laughs> oh no! I think about it. Oh, not level 60. So I can't get the other one. But I can use this now. I gotta bring that up when I get the chance. Now I think about it. Let's do that now. While she'll be taking care of the enemies. Well, no, I can't do that because... Then it'll just kick me out of this once we start combat. Um, where is my scrolls? Oh, here they are. Sadly, like I can't use energy saver. I'm curious to what they're going to change through its talents to. When they start working on classes. Because Drew's talents were pretty awful. Especially their combos. Their combos were questionable. Okay, dude. Alright, all right, brother. Really? This is how you're going to treat me right now? Is this is how you're going to treat me? I see how it is. I remember that. Wait, did I use up all my... Okay, no, no. It's just, for some reason, kept showing this one.
Yeah, you got some XP off of that. My mana. No. Please. No. Stop. <laughs> no more. My mana. What the fuck, man? I'm always targeting my mana. Bullying. Stop. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, jeez, man. What is up with, what is up with enemies that just like to drain mana? Like, isn't it enough that I'm suffering? You're just like, hmm, hmm, maybe we should take more. <laughs> just, just take a little bit more off the top, you know? <laughs> you bastards, stop. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Now that I think about it, aren't our talent combos the same as a uh, cleric? If I remember correctly. Which is another reason I didn't like. Like the Aratalan tree too much. Because it wasn't unique to us. I think we shared a lot of things. Towards like. Cleric. Oh, you have misfortune, you dick. I feel like you should probably turn Anubis off for uh, PvP, though. Know? Because I feel like she could be an issue inside of PvP content. Depending on how much damage she does to players, that could be an issue. Especially, I don't think you want a goddess running around just being extremely tanky to where other players couldn't kill her. <laughs> So probably turning that off for PvP would probably be the best thing. Just something that kind of needs to be, you know, thought about if if it if it does become a problem. I'm not sure how much of a problem it will be since I'm not really much of a PvP person. I can't turn any of those off. They're too but they're too above me. <gasps> oh now nah, I, I just thought of something interesting. Druid still does have other buffs. It makes me very curious. Ah my mana! What the fuck, man? Stop! Why? Dude, I'm being bullied. Like, honestly. Like, can we stop, please? What the fuck, man? Why? <laughs> it wasn't this bad until the update. <laughs> but then again, I was stunning everything. Now I've stopped stunning everything. <laughs> fuck. Put this down here on the bar. Uh, put. Oh, move this over. Um, hold on, dude. That's very rude of you. First off, That's how dare you? Yeah. 
Just trying to freaking cycle around, you psychopath. Chill. No. Please, no days. No, stop. Cease. No, I missed one. Cease. Cease this activity. This bullying at his finest. No. <laughs> Anubis, help. Please. I rely on you. Help. Help. I'm useless. Anubis, sweetie, please, can you, you cease this activity right before you, before your very eyes? Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> okay, so she can only take aggro one at a time. One at a time. <laughs> Duly noted that she can only take aggro one at a time. Nothing like a group aggro or malice, just one at a time. I will take that over nothing. Not gonna lie to you. <laughs> My suffering never stops. Man, I'm kind of sad I really missed that table yesterday. That table is actually very, very good. It had bags. It had potions and stuff. But I was like so busy yesterday I couldn't do anything. Uh, I thought there would be rename tickets, at, well, rename keys in here. There is not. I wonder if they changed uh, Lucky Charms to increase, like, you know, rare drops. And not just drop, drop chance. Kind of a reason why a lot of people didn't use uh, Lucky Charms. Well, they didn't stack Lucky Charms because, you know, as long as you had like Mythic or Legendary, that's really all you needed. It wasn't really useful for anything else from what I've seen, at least. Okay, we're level 52 now. Might as well just take all of them. Oh, you misfortune assholes. thing that does confuse me is like, I don't know what she has. Hopefully they display it somewhere. Oh, you bastards. I was hoping to cancel it. Misfortune. Uh, help. Anubis. Again. <laughs> I rely on you. <laughs> damn it. Getting tired of this misfortune shit, dude. Like, I'm actually being bullied here. But, uh, actually just... <laughs> We're just playing. We're just playing around at this point. I mean, what is she? What is she here for? You know, she's here to be our tank and somewhat up a damage dealer to help us level up. So it's it's not a bad thing to rely on her, to be honest. But you also got to learn your class. That's for sure. I I know Druid very well, so that's why I'm just trying to fool around a little bit. Uh, these guys also have stuns, so that's also something else I gotta look out for. And I could just aggro around her. Wait, did something just decrease my mana? Did I not have mana? Wait, where are my potions? Am I out of mana potions again? Wait a minute. Oh my god, I'm out of meta potions again. Oh my god, Sag. 
<laughs> God damn it. Damn it, dude. It bees like that sometimes, dude. It just bees like that. Fuck. Why do I feel like I'm losing a lot more mana than usual? <laughs> Is does everything in here have mana drain? I say, as long as you group around her, eventually she'll take aggro. As long as I don't do damage, she'll do the AoE. Dude, I have no mana. Why are you still bullying me? Please, no more. I miss being a mana battery. <laughs> this is why I remember us being a mana battery. This situation here. Alright, before we even fight the final boss, we're gonna... <laughs> oh, dear God. We're gonna have to uh, get some mana back again. It's only been 30 minutes. Actually, her, she's been helping clearing pretty fast, to be honest. Alright, you deal with him. Why I turn on my quest. Ah, oh, shit. Did I do an oopsie? Yeah, I did an oopsie. I gotta go redo it. God damn it. <laughs> I forgot. You don't get all quests. I'm so used to collecting all quests before I actually go into these. But this does give me the chance to go here and look at what skills I can actually get why I reset the dungeon hey please tell me it's here ah no it's it's a later class damn sag Part of me was really hoping for um, Gorilla Guard because I wanted to see Gorilla Guard on her. Just see if it actually works. Okay. Ravenous, obviously. Oh, uh, did I reset dungeon? Uh, reset instance. Oh, yeah, I could play. Uh... There's another thing I could do. I can actually play Eagle Form while she's also doing that as well. Damn, with how much gold I have, what would it be worth picking up? Because I could just take this, just to keep putting that buff on her, so she'll be taking all the aggro. I could take my heals, and I'm out of gold again. <laughs> Damn it, dude. <laughs> Every time. Uh, we could turn off this, and also turn off this, because we're not going to do that. Turn off that. 
because that's not important. This is. Um, I've been curious to see. Do we just skip all that together? Okay, Anubis, you're in a way. Thank you. Okay, it automatically goes into second wake me. Oh, thank God. Out of this, I would want maximum physical. I mean, the magic damage would be nice right about now, but physical. Okay, so we don't have to do all that uh, grab this quest, grab that quest BS that they normally, you know, sucker us into. Uh, we have talents now, okay. We have our final talents. This is where things got interesting. Because they gave us the unique tickets now. Now the combinations were... Kind of interesting. I got to... Try and remember which one it was for Ancient Wolf. Yeah. Somebody told me this is one of the things that I hated. Somebody told me why the fuck Ancient Wolf has magic damage increase. This is one of the terrible things about this. Somebody tell me why. Even if this was like physical attack, it would still be very terrible. <laughs> I, I just never got Spirit Wolf. It, it was it was a strange choice that they made to give it that. I don't understand why that was the option they went for. No, what we should do, we should we should just give Spirit Wolf magic. It's, it's like what the fuck? <laughs> I don't think Wolf Arm was ever based off magic either. I think it was always physical. It's just strange. I don't know. I don't know why they chose that. But the offset combo was this. What the uh, this energy saver. Just because Wolf Form ate through like a whole bunch of mana. And now I think about it, I just left that quest and reset the dungeon when, um, I really didn't need to. Because that was the end boss, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Funny enough. Uh, we could just run to it, actually. I don't think it's going to be much of an issue for a uh, bird form. Next thing we can do is go to Kazlau to um, do the exchange for our next uh, next golden weapons. Oh, it's you. I say that's the thing. I could also grab um, Heaven's Eye if I wanted to. I can just finish this out. Um, where is... I say, I still have more, right? Did I buy a whole bunch of train? No, I didn't. Oh, I have a sneeze. Oh, I have a sneeze. Please stop. Cease this activity. <laughs> ah, my soul. Why? Why does this bullying keep happening? 
Ah, shit, wrong thing. It was you. But I guess we can do training, actually. Since we do have, like, a lot of, uh... Resources for that. How much did that increase? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, buy two, at least. Uh, it was you we were trying to put that on. Just to get staff done. Oh, you failure. You would fumble. Ah. Ah. Here. Have a Snickers. Okay, so, this again. Oh my god, you little shit. Okay, so now we gotta make this. So after we do all that, we gotta go back and, um, deal with this situation. But I was curious because, um, I was wondering, did Druid ever have, like, a really good trinket? No, I think all of our relics were based, based off of, um, cleric, yeah, clerics. That's one of them that was based off cleric. I think the other one is kind of based off cleric too. Well, this one actually is actually decent. I just need to get to level 60 to use it. <sighs> okay. Huh. This stuff was actually really good too. This was mostly good for Cleric too because they had more, more relying on. Because didn't Cleric have a lot of casting abilities versus like Druid? That's more useful for them than it is for uh, druids. Now this was decent for us. The evasion and uh, movement speed. That was actually really decent for us because uh, bird form. Bird form and wolf form. Wolf form had uh, evasion built in and bird form had movement. So that was really, this one was the only one that I saw was like mostly for us. Did that hammer just say lifesteal? Oh, uh, yeah, it did. Oh, man. As a druid, I kind of wish we could have used like mech weapons. Like mech hammer. Or mech two-handed is what I wanted to say. I say every other class could use like you know each other stuff like warriors could use our hammers or we could use warrior hammers stuff like that he's like why why exclude us from the um, gear master weapons because the gear master weapons had like so much potential man except for this one they, we shouldn't be able to use the long range cannons <laughs> but the mech swords would have been interesting on like Unlike other characters, too. But then again, some of the mech swords were, like, pretty in, pretty insane. That's why uh, Gear Master was such a dominating tank class. 
like very dominating. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like so many people used it inside of a uh, inside of the official version, and it was just a better tanking class than Paladin. Paladin wasn't like you know aggro heavy. Paladin was just basically defense buff, defense buff, defense buff, defense buff, defense buff. <laughs> I miss this combo. Being able to just use those just to move and speed on out of here through everything. Somebody's messaging me. Wait, what? I have no idea what that's it. Oh yeah, for being regretful. I almost died because <laughs> I forgot which one was which. <laughs> yeah, let me wait for my matter to come back up. I say that's the only bit of Spanish that I remember. <laughs> that was one of the basic Spanish things that we learned. That was actually the first thing we learned in Spanish, funny enough. <laughs> God damn it. I should probably take out of this form because uh, it does exhaust. Let me touch on Nubis right quick, give her uh, reflect. See, it's great to have like a cool tank. That that is amazing. I love that they made that change. Like, like I said, main complaint about like about like these uh tr like summonings is that they're so terrible, man. He's asking for the bin. Um, I think it's bound to me, is it not? Is it not bound on use? I could have sworn it was bound on use.
Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. Um, let's see. I wonder if I can use a certain item here. It's no, it's not utility, is it? Well, no. Is it promo? Oh, there it is. Okay, I don't know if I can use Unbounding. Good job, Anubis. Uh, this is actually important, because this is something I've been wanting to try and figure out, too. Can you use Unbounding on these? No, you cannot. Alright, well... You gotta tell that person that it is already bound. Sally is already bound because I had to I had to test it out for a video. Otherwise, if I knew where it already did, I probably wouldn't have. But you know. Okay, so I wonder how much regen can I give you? Because it's not based off percentage wise. Yeah. Sadly, Druid has no percentage based like heals. Why I think Cleric did, I believe. Hold on. I have to make sure. I'm curious. Didn't Cleric have uh this this is what I'm jealous of. Last for ten minutes, dude. Ten minutes. Why can't Gorilla Guard last for ten minutes? This is basically the fucking same thing. Just saying. <laughs> this also lasts for ten minutes. What's so what's so you know OP about giving me this? <laughs> Just saying, dude. Jealousy. I am. Fucking clerics always getting all the good shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? This fucker basically gets this but for 15 seconds. But all of a sudden, when I put on Gorilla Guard, it has to last for a fucking minute. Oh, no. For 30 seconds inside of um, the official version. BS, man. BS. Anywho. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Clerics have what now? This is bullshit. I'm, 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 I'm angry at myself. I even looked at this. <laughs> you guys get all the good shit, man. Okay, no, they just had a higher healing than us. I don't think they had like a percentage wise. That I know of. Now this row on the other hand. This. This would be amazing to apply. But I don't know if they removed the whole reincarnation only effect for that. That is the only issue. The best thing about this is that if you are a cleric playing with the VIP. Anubis, you have a full-on support, well, tank, that you can just support. That's the fun part about this. Yeah, like I said, imagine if you could put on the party buff on her. <laughs> that would actually be pretty absurd. It would be interesting now. It would be very interesting. But yeah, no, they don't have percentage. I don't know why I thought they had a percentage HP heal. You know. I don't think any class in the game has a percentage heal.
Okay, so now what we have to do is go all the way back. Oh, we wanted to murder that. Oh, yeah, we had to turn this in, too. I've been keeping an eye on um, on the official server, see if they uh, release anything new. They haven't yet. They have not yet. Which is interesting to me. I got some slacks, bro. Yeah, damn, dude. Nice some slacks. Okay, so next I need to... This. Ooh, okay. Good thing I didn't get the 56. I can just go ahead and grab that and use it. I should probably grab this just in case. Just in case I'm like do over level and just equip these because i don't want to over level and miss the opportunity to get those titles um so we're going to go all the way back to perry cave i'll mutate I don't remember this being right here, but if you guys placed this soul crystal right here and moved it from over here. Yeah, you moved it from over here to over here. Thank you. That that was a stupid location for this crystal to be, considering a dungeon is right here. I'm just saying. I never got that location. Oh yeah, another thing you guys can do is you can make a uh, mutated mutated orders. That could be an interesting thing. Okay, yeah, she'll do a lot more damage in here, but they'll also do a lot more damage to me. <laughs> Okay, that's stack. What's it now? No, there was super beginner. Oh, I guess it was one of the ones I used up. Okay. So there's still a chance I can out damage them. I just feel like using this combo is a lot better towards like fighting them. Really, I don't have to kill everything in here. Mostly what I need to do is just clear the path toward the boss. Whoa, what the hell? Did the server just lag? Whoa, what the fuck just went on there? Really? 
Like, they just teleported after the stun. That confused me. Or did she AoE them and wake them up? I actually don't know what the hell just happened there. That, that just threw me off guard. It wasn't a it wasn't a huge heal, but it, you know, it was honest work. The, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? Did you just come out of the ground? What the fuck, man? What? Whoa, wait a minute. That made no sense. What? Why did you aggro onto me? Did I start healing Anubis by mistake? Okay, yeah. You just teleported again. Do you have a new attack? Cause I don't remember this attack you're doing. You get away from me. Yeah, Anubis is physical. is I can just take the aggro over here trying to get away from Anubis AoE oh she has a suck in attack I didn't know Anubis had a suck in attack I say she has a sucking attack. I'm about to say that just makes Ranger even stronger. Just keeps resetting them. Okay, so I have to be very careful of how I use my Anubis. Okay, now he's just spamming it. I'm low on mana, so I don't feel like I should be using it. Bro started spamming. Seems like I'm just gonna have to keep this on. 
Because I'm going to have to go back to... Like I said, dude, I have to get used to the classic version of uh, <laughs> Druid. To where I have to, like, sit down and regain my mana. I said I got out of that one with, with the rework. I say I want to collect all my potions, really. I don't want to keep using them. Uh, but killing those enemies have been giving... Uh, well, killing that one enemy just gave, like, two gold. Which I haven't really been paying attention to. How much gold do you get for killing these things? I wish the sucking the suck didn't wake them up out of the days that way. Okay, that gives 40, 45 silver. Huh. Interesting. It only gives uh, 36k uh, XP. Which isn't that bad, to be honest. Like, that's like a pretty much chunk of my bar. It's actually extremely good. Damn it, yeah, that, that sucking actually kills me. When did she start using this ability? Because I don't remember her ever using this ability. Oh, I'm out of mana. Help! Anubis! Okay, yeah, I about to say the game used it. But still, dude, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? I keep forgetting about these enemies having increased distance when they're attacks. Like it hits you no matter what. I keep forgetting. Traditional MMO. <laughs> At one point, it makes me not want to use the whole talent choice thing just yet. Just because I want to see what they do. With like the skills and changes and stuff like that. Especially the combo stuff. Damn, dude. Um, Eden Eternal is still going strong. They're still updating like regularly. That's that's great to see. I say I love the hell out of Aiden Eternal. I just I just been waiting for them to like get way further in, and I'm pretty sure they were like extremely far in, to be honest, at this point. Oh god, stun. Anubis help! <laughs> Keep thinking I have tank gear. I do not have tank gear. Well, this wasn't be useful, right? Because they're physical, I think. It's so weird not having like the um, the stats where you can actually see what they do. Yeah, what is this sucking ability she's now starting to do? Like she was never using that into now. I mean, it's cool, but it wakes them up. So that kind of sucks for my s Gaia stun. Wait, is it Gaia yet? No, it's My Nature's Wrath. <laughs> it sucks for Dizzy, too, because it wakes them up out of Dizzy. It sucks for Sleep, too, because it wakes them up out of Sleep. So she just made a whole bunch of like stuns kind of useless if you relied on them. No, did they wake up out of days after attack? Pretty sure they do.
should be getting legacy gear is not good for tanking. It is not a tanking uh, thing. <laughs> I don't know why my brain's just like, you know what? This is useful for tanking. We are tanky. No, we're not. Stop. Stop putting illusions in my head. You stop. Cease your activities. Especially since we don't have, like, um, gear mastery. I also got to play a lot safer, too. Which is interesting to change up my playstyle. I do like that a little bit. I was like, it would be nice if the sucking ability had, like, malice to it, though. I say, like, yeah. I say, like, if the sucking ability is going to be a thing and, you know, kind of... Kind of ruin a lot of my stuns or, you know, sleep. I believe days... Well, Dizzy, it should at least have malice to it. Because that just kind of throws everything off and sends all types of plans into the gutter. Yeah, it interrupts Dizzy. I think uh, Sandstorm is an actual, like, stun. I don't know why I thought Sandstorms was the actual, like, Dizzy 2. Considering you could see the animation above their head. Uh, we should just sit, chill. Put this on. We gotta get ready to make our, our level 50 staff, dude. Our first yellow weapon. Hopefully he does drop this. I'm very much hoping. I do have to clean him clean out my inventory as well. That's also another thing. Why am I trying to do that? Let's re-summon Anubis. Okay, so we're gonna have to wrap this up soon, actually, because it is getting time for me to get ready for work. So let's go ahead and hit this, and I will make a part two for when I get home. And we'll continue off that. Wait, you got Reflect? Oh, God. Now I feel like a druid since I have a summon. <laughs> it's, it's just a very powerful goddess summon. <laughs> ah! Oh, you have a silence. 
Oh, you actually... Oh, you have a seal. Seals all abilities. Cease this activity. I'm out of mana. <laughs> Welcome to Jiro gameplay. <laughs> this is now Jiro gameplay. You're now officially seeing it all. Hope you guys were prepared to see Jiro gameplay. I feel like this this would have been better as a mana recovery instead of HP recovery. So especially since Cleric and Druids can heal. Yeah, I, I feel like this should have been swapped. It should have been 5% HP and 50% mana recovery. Not 50%, 50 mana recovery. Okay, I didn't get it. Darn. Darn, no. Darn. Alright, we're gonna have to come back for that later. I don't know why I fought the spider boss. The spider boss doesn't really like give too much. I wonder if they increased the um, outcome of these for when you're trying to sell them. Let's see. Okay, so that's still five gold. That's 50, okay. And that's 17. All right, so those are a lot easier to farm. So I can get my skills a lot easier if I did mutated. Which will do a lot more mutated. We'll finish this mutated dungeon up when I get home. But uh, that is pretty much everything. Oh. And also, tomorrow, apparently, the the clay scale, well, which is basically their spender event, they call them scale, their spender event actually, um, the clay version of it actually ends tomorrow. So I wonder if they're going to replace it with something else, or are they going to just have that expire through the rest of the, through the rest of the month? Maybe I got some clay out of it, though. As I would do it again if I had the moolah for it, but I don't. So, yeah, not happening. I can't. Hmm. All right. So, anywho, with that said, I'm going to end it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. Later on. Uh, be right back. Alright. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf. I am back. Um, yeah, we're farming for the one, right? So we gotta go up here and continue fighting that. Oh, I gotta say... <clears throat> I don't wanna work... <laughs> But that's, that's just life, man. That's just life. Anywho, uh, what's going on here? Ow. Why? What the fuck, man? I did not deserve that at all. Like, I just went over here to look at something and you just bully me? That's crazy. So what what is this? Cast time reduction. 
uh, colorful as mine. Okay, I had to. I wanted to remember like what this gear had. Yeah, this gear is like far behind the defense category. So technically, technically, I'm up to date. <laughs> Fucking not, mate. Mm. Oh, so I don't think that does damage right. I think that just literally initiates the fight. Yeah. I don't... I don't think Vine does damage at all. Well, let me see. Yeah, it does do damage. It just actually keeps them there in place. Nice. So that's one way to initiate a fight with a druid. I was trying to remember because I knew I had an ability that didn't do damage at all. I wanted to see how well I could actually, like, keep the aggro up as she takes care of the boss. Not keep the aggro up, keep the healing up. So I was kind of curious if I can like out heal the damage she's taking. I kind of can, kind of, kind of, kind of. She's only done that much damage so far. Wait, why am I using this? And I'm not that close. Okay, you're gonna start spamming seal. How far did back can I be? Whoops. I'm fat fingering three. You can also bird form and do this. That would probably be safer, would it? But then we come back to the situation with my mana. <laughs> Honestly, into uh The issue is if the druid becomes less mana hungry. I don't think you you'll be able to change druid from a mana battery. Because Drew relies heavily on mana. But then again, hold on. The healing of mana. So is that. Is that a hill per second that goes on? 
that wasn't actually something I could like figure out just from looking at it. He drop it? No, he did not. So guess what? We go again. Come on, Nubus. Let's go. So we just need... Oh yeah, we still need to make the curse stuff. The curse staff. Uh, redo that. Sit here right quick so I can get everything for the staff. The staff needs... Oh, it needed this. That's what I needed. Did I get boxes for that? Or chests? I wonder now. I don't feel like I did. Not gonna lie, I kinda like that head. I actually like this. Kinda leaning towards it. Ah, fuck it, why not? Ah, oh. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, so is the higher chance of getting it is what I'm guessing. Or is this just luck? Hold on, let's let's try again. Oh, no, cosmetics just have a higher chance. That's what it is. Part of me that wants this. It's a odd combination to put inside of there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. But yeah, costumes don't count as the you know. Um, Hmm, that's actually pretty nice to have too. But costumes don't count towards like what am I thinking of? Kinda want this too. It's just to collect. Counts towards the little projection thing to where it's like, oh yeah, you got bonus. This. This is a count towards announcement. That's what I was thinking of. In transformation, I never go for those. For some reason, I never see value in wing, wing transformation. I actually like this one. So it makes me curious. What are they going to do with uh with this? Are they ever going to change it or just keep it like this? Are they ever going to add more is what I was thinking of. They're trying to say. Oh, so I guess we can keep going until we get an announcement. It seems like all the chances are pretty good to get all the way to the end. But at the end, you have a chance of... A huge chance of failing. 
Is it like 50 50? Okay, one more run, then we'll then we'll continue on. Oh yeah, there is a uh, bug, developers. Um, there is an item in here that will crash you if you try and preview it, and it is this, this right here. If you try and preview this, this will crash your game. That that's something I need to note. Like I was I was waiting for my. Uh, streaming PC to to update so I can continue recording from where I left off but um that happened so I thought it would be something I should definitely address what book is this now this would be good for range for ranger if i was playing ranger i would definitely take that what's this one increased damage taken that was not too bad honestly damn i have I have only succeeded that once. I was mentioning in the area and increased damage taken. Like I said, that's not that's not bad. That's actually really good for novelist spell. Okay, now one more. <laughs> and I'll go fully through to level five with all of them. And try to see what we get. So no, I haven't seeded any level fives yet. Now I think about it. The question is, do these work on bosses? That's the real question. For some reason, I don't feel like they do. What's this? Level 70. Five. Let's see if these two make it first. <laughs> see what we get. Okay, we actually made it to level five and got. Okay, got those. Level 90 Sprite King would actually be great. Yep. Okay. Now we continue on where we left off. <laughs> I had to take a little bit of a detour. Don't don't mind me. Oh god. I goofed. I was trying to see if I can actually get lucky and get the announcement but no announcement sag beats like that sometimes yeah huh weird even without announcement that i didn't even gain a single point into that I just realized uh, skill points aren't inside of here either. Huh. Interesting. Not a bad thing, but it's interesting. Is there a different way to buy skill points? Is that why it's gone? 
I should check uh, the alchemist because the alchemist is the only person I would think would carry it if it was purchasable. Are you dick? I'm called for. Very uncalled for. I should be using my sprite too. I keep forgetting. What's this? I'll look first. Um, let's put on those abilities. Rub my eye a little bit. I'm going to regret that, but you know what? A hey, screw it yellow. God damn it. Wrong button as I'm rubbing my eye. <laughs> Actually, that'll be better. Because then I can just keep flying this buff. I want to see if I could ever take Malice. Or does she just out? Out malice me. Yeah, she out malices me. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting, actually. Wait, was there another gorilla skill that I had gotten? Oh, yeah, Fury. There it is. Yeah, that's not too bad, to be honest. Hopefully he drops it this time.
Ah, there it is. Finally, he dropped it. Okay, cool. Um... Now I gotta figure out where the hell am I going to get uh, this? But I didn't finish this, actually. So now I can just take that off. Uh, where is my gathering? Okay, so now we can. So on that staff. Oh shit! Yeah, we need the stones. Is it? I'm guessing it's gonna be blood crystals that we need for that staff. If not, that's fine too. Okay, so which one was it? It was this one. Okay, so now I need to craft that staff, and I need to go to Auction House. Not Auction House, my uh, bank, because I think my bank might have most of my stuff. But then again, I think as I'm doing um, dungeons, I gotta think about it, I'm skipping a lot of quests that give that. So now I gotta think about what dungeon I actually get. Well, actually, the next dungeon actually probably gives it if I remember correctly. Oh my god, it has a book. Hold on. Oh no, it's you. I was about to say, wait a minute. Yeah, it's that one. Uh, which quest was this? Oh yeah, this is a quest we have to turn in. Wow, that has terrible. <laughs> That's all I can say is it has terrible. So I basically have everything I need for this staff, but I also can craft this staff too. I guess I don't mind crafting this staff because it's decent. So why not? We'll craft both of them. I mean, it doesn't, that staff doesn't yellow though. That's the only issue about the crafting this one. Uh. Hopefully somebody's selling it for cheap. Huh. The hell's that? Oh, it's an armor set. Okay. I guess he has in-game armor. Stuff you can buy. Let me go see the costumes. Uh, the costumes are a lot cheaper because you can get them very easily. Then a main reward. I'm going to put everything for 70. I don't care about the weapon either. I said I can go for 70. Did I put this one in? No, I did not. Okay, we keep that. I'll say the... Um, 
the best thing about it is that the costume extra stats actually still exist in this game. So if you ever want to just mix extra stat gear together, that's also still something you can do. I think you could sell these too, right? Yeah, you can sell these if you want to as well. The cost of rewards. So other people can buy those off of you if you ever wanted to sell them or trade them off to other people. Which is nice. Oh, what's this one? That's the defense one. This one is the evasion. I didn't get to see the other one. I guess that one was that one was like physical, probably. Oh, I'll say that's not bad. Oh, this is a cape. Creating a shield that blocks death once. That's a 5% chance. That's actually interesting. Yeah, I missed the one. Oh, okay, so this is like the 42 one. Okay, I was about to say, I missed the table with these on them. That still would have been helpful, though. But, uh, anywho... We have the stuff, but we got to go uh, do the next dungeon, which is, um, oh, that dungeon? Okay. We got to go all the way back to Kaslop. It's actually funny how many players don't know about this dungeon. Which is kind of odd to me. Well, no, it's not odd because uh, a lot of people don't talk to the NPCs. So I guess it wouldn't really be all that odd for them to know, know about it. But Drifter, and you take the compass, then you're here. A lot of people on the official server never do this dungeon. Because you just get that quest, turn it in, and it, it gives you nothing else. Target is an enemy. <laughs> I guess you're an enemy now, buddy. Well, if I ever wanted them to gather up, it's great that she can do that. I just got to figure out the timing for when she actually does the, like, suck in attack. I right, come with me, my child.
Is there not a vent on this, uh, inside of this dungeon? I could have sworn there was a vent inside of this dungeon. Apparently not. So now we got the point of resist as well, considering we can't. Okay, it did give me uh, what I was looking for. But uh, I never got the point of resist, considering the fact that it was basically like we could never see what the ability element was that they used. Like it, like for example, I hover over this, it doesn't tell me any element that they use at all. So I would never know. If I should be building like resist at all, that's one of the things that uh confused a lot of players is why would we build you know resist to anything? Other than other players, and I think other players would mostly just be like the nature damage that um. Drew was, yeah, it would mostly just be a PvP thing. That's all resist is, is PvP. The other elementals, like, effects like fire, ice, thunder, would all be wizard. Nothing else really much would, uh, require that, is what I should say. Um, can I use these a lot more often? No, they still go on a big timer, interestingly enough. Doesn't like they do anything new either. They just give you the 5% heal and I guess stat increase for a set amount of times. Oh, if you stage the higher grade dumplings. Oh, exchange for a higher grade dumplings. Oh, okay. I never noticed that. I never use these. I, I instantly get rid of them as soon as I get them. So I was thinking this place probably has something different with them. But they don't. Uh, I was looking for these. I have to use six. And this was just a regular staff that didn't have like much to it. All right, nice. So now, oh crap, <laughs> I totally forgot. We we're supposed to be using it on this. Good thing you can buy those. <laughs> I goofed. I wasn't paying attention. Well, we only have uh, 45 anyway. We don't have like... It doesn't go up to like 50 or anything. So we have to use the 30s anyway. I don't ever see an opportunity of using like the 45s to be honest. I think it would make more sense to give the players uh probably more level sixties. No, no, nah, I guess that would be fine. Never mind. Take that back. I say just like when you start questing, I feel like you out level these like extremely fast to where you can't really use them. But then that's me. 
I'm forgetting that I'm playing and not other people. <laughs> okay, so now that staff is done. So now I have the crease. Okay, I got blessed again. What is up with all these blessed wands? I have the RNG luck, apparently. Where is Miss Scrolls? Hi. Come back on the screen. This staff will be with us for a long, long time. Like, this isn't going anywhere. We're keeping this permanently. There are obvious reasons for it, as you can see. It's <laughs> but you know what's funny? Something that doesn't make any sense. This right here is 20 seconds. Look at that. 20 seconds. I want that to be known. And Heavens goes down to 10 seconds. That makes no sense. I never understood that. No more. That was just like odd to me. It's like why why am I getting punished for the yellow? I mean I know it's more damage, but still that that duration shouldn't go down. If it's already twenty for the orange. So now we don't need the Oblivion anymore. Not really. Wasn't there a timed event for this? Does it not exist anymore? As you can see, combo is a lot faster. Especially if you can get like a big group of enemies and do this without dying. That's the tricky part <laughs> without dying. Some of this again. You apply that. Let's go. Because there was supposed to be enemies that just respawned over here constantly. I don't think that exists in this version of Gravity Jaw. That guy ever die or something? I think he died against these guys, didn't he? Alright, let's keep going. We're almost leveled. So we're about to be level 54 real soon. 
we're almost reaching our two hour mark. Actually, I don't remember how long the part one is. I'll make sure I'm not going too far on the too far over. Okay, yeah, it's basically two hours, but uh, let me finish this. We'll do this first, then we'll wrap it up, because I don't think it's going to be like that bad. Also, I forgot these rabbits do stun. That's something I got to look out for. Stop that. We don't do none of that casting BS around here. I say the thing is, even if I get stunned, Anubis will still... Still fight and kill. So it's alright that I get stunned like this because she'll still kill. As long as I'm not in a, like a huge group of enemies to where it's like really insufferable, I'm good. <laughs> I'm really hoping that they start releasing like some interested, interesting, like, trinkets. Like, you guys know how Gravitasia has, like, interesting trinkets and stuff like that. That has, like, special abilities. I said that could be cool. Like, each boss has its own little special trinket that you have a chance of getting. I was like, I'm just throwing fun ideas out there, you know. Not all of them should be taken. <laughs> Obviously. Are you dick? Anubis, do your job. You, you caused this. <laughs> You just had to un-dizzy un him. I gotta remember between days and dizzy. <laughs> days is m like magic weakness stuff. Oh, you dick. Yeah, you guys stun and slow. Stop bullying me. What the fuck, man? I'm bullying you guys because you fucking deserve it, alright? <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't... Oh, yeah. We do go after you next. I was thinking to myself, wait a minute, I don't remember going after you. These guys, I don't remember having a stun... I do remember them casting some nice, like, spells. I think it's, I think it is ice based. So I guess that's something to look out for. I was gonna say the color of the, of the cast would be, indicating the spell. But I'd never seen like a fire or lightning, cast. Only ice and curses. Are oh, you dick? You don't draw it to me at the last second. Ah, crap. Wrong button.
With this staff, I can get like all of my healing abilities off without having to worry about it. Also, the reason why I love this staff so much. So if we're going to lower the duration of it, it would at least increase the chance of it procking by 12. 12%. 12 <laughs> I'm just saying, like, god damn, dude. Just let it be 12%. I'll be happy with that. I guess that wouldn't be balanced, that would it? I don't know. Take care of him. Ah, you dick. Why fight me? There's literally Anubis in front of you. <laughs> I love that I could just I just have a freebie of an attack. Oh my god, now that I think about it, you gotta think about it. Necromancer with this is actually kinda funny. Because <laughs> Necromancer basically would have two summons, would it not? Or would it cancel the summons? Huh, I've never thought about that. Because I don't think it does... Um, an official Grand Fantasia. Then again, I haven't really played too much Necromancer. Well, no, I've played Necromancer. I just never had a reason to use the... Um, the pet system because the pets didn't do anything useful. They usually get like two or three shot or one shot. I uh, say so you'd be lucky if it even gets three. Most of the time it's just like two or one. Oh yeah, still gotta give you weapons. I keep forgetting about you. I wonder if sprite combat is better. The sprites didn't really do that much damage either. I mean, he's doing decent damage with just his bare hands, to be honest. So I'm kind of wondering, what happens if I give you a staff, buddy? Would you start doing damage then? Whoops. Oh yeah, I gotta bring you back. Okay, now we do that. Reduce hit chance. Okay, that's not too bad. Um... I have a cape that I could put on you. It does give physical defense, which is great. No, it gives a uh, normal attack. Hmm. Okay, I guess that wouldn't be like too significant. I don't have any other trinkets because I sold them all. Because <laughs> I wasn't thinking about you at all. Okay, let's see how much damage you do now. Oh, is that him doing like... Yeah, he's doing like 500. I don't know. But when I see like the normal sprites, I'd never see them do that much damage. Well, in the official version, I never really see them, like, get above, like, a <laughs> hundred. <laughs> so they're actually a little bit better inside of combat. Oh, I forgot the magic one has a chance of AOE. Oh, you give a free cape? Uh, is it good? Uh, it's alright. Really? 
Raven power. Oh, worm power. Oh yeah, was I supposed to kill like a certain amount just to get this buff? Whoops. Sorry, I clicked off screen. I use an app called uh, Mouse Without a Border. And I can just, I just have that set up because I have a dual PC set up. And I could just, I don't have to have like an extra mouse or anything. I could just interact with that PC just by with my single mouse. And sometimes I go off screen and go on to the other one. <laughs> and it starts interacting with that PC. That's a scary thing. Like later on, we don't know how how long would Nubis survive, but if she can easily take aggro, resummoning her, how long does it take? Okay, yeah, resummoning her is actually it really doesn't take all that long. You would just have to survive for for her to come back. <laughs> I say like, that, that's enough time to get, for you to get killed if she just gets killed like very quickly in higher content. But I will say this, she's she's just basically extra damage. Man, I I, I just can't get over a minute. I I like the idea of summonings. A VIP summoning like doing like unique skills and stuff like that. The only issue is you're gonna have to figure out a way to show people those unique skills that they can do. Probably like at the bottom of her description has you know, have the list of like what moves she can do and kinda explain them instead of the you know us just I guess just seeing them up front. <laughs> That would actually help. To be honest, without her, I would still be doing the Gaia strat. Damn it, why I keep calling it Gaia? It's not it's not there yet. But I will keep using Nature's Wrath. All the way up until this point. <laughs> so it would actually be a lot longer. I think that just takes me to the end of the dungeon, right? I'm just trying to figure out or remember if it was killing all the worms that gave me a... Uh, that gave me that buff. Been a while since I've touched this dungeon. I still got to go on the official server and figure out uh, if repeat quests actually give more XP now for um, Spirit Village or Spirit Valley. Because like I said, if it does, I can probably continue on the official series along with this series. Just really depends. Okay, I don't see any more worms, so I don't think that's the Hey, Ryburns. Ryburns, not worms. I keep getting my dragons based up. I think the most thing I like is the back that backpack space. Backpack space has always been something crucial to me. Because <laughs> having this all the way down here 
feels so freaking good. Which kind of confuses me of why the official version hasn't made any new backpacks that were actually like really good for like carrying normal material because those normal materials would link into will leak into our bag over here like this and take up so much room. It would actually become like a really bad nuisance. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay. Shut up. Let's give you this stuff for now. All resist. Eh. Is, is, are you the same thing? Yeah, you're all resist. Okay, so that just gives a little bit of agility, which isn't necessary. Okay, I don't see anything else in here. So I think we're we're good. Hi. Yeah, my cape. I'm definitely taking mana. That's no contest. So this quest is done. The staff I was trying to build is done, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. And guess what we need to do now? Oh, that's that's the event I was thinking of. That event. Okay. So you do it through there. Nature's power actually wouldn't be how bad to get through this. That's how you get the time traveler title. Uh, damn. Okay. Well, that's fair. That's fair enough, man. Hmm. Okay, yeah, people are selling the summon for 30k. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, anywho, uh, that's where we're going to wrap it up. And I will see you guys. Uh, how much mana does it get? Eh, it gets a little bit. That's not too bad. It ain't too bad. But yeah, that is it. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to crash your game. Oh, I uh, didn't crash it this time. What the hell? Yeah, I guess. I guess it fixed. <laughs> it fixed as soon as I want to show it, huh? As soon as I want to show it. Okay, I see how it is. What was, what was those first few times I did it? It crashed. Wait, does it only crash inside of a... Um, Kazlau? I'm curious now. Is it only crashing Kazlau planes? Because that's where it was crashing. I was over here in this area. There it is. <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> now that I did it, it crashed. So I guess if you preview it, then run to Kazlau plane. It crashes. Okay. That's weird. Now I'm going to open the game and show you guys that it crashes inside of Kazlau Plane.
because it didn't crash inside of Kazlau City itself. So let's just show that again. Oh, wow. There's a lot more players to where it's red inside of the first channel and it's freaking yellow inside of the second. Yeah, I am. Okay. But then again, I, I do appreciate you guys watching my videos and leaving likes. It really does help people to find the game a lot easier, even if leaving a comment. Leaving a comment does help people also find it as well. And yeah. This helps me grow all together. There it is. Yep. It crashes. It crashes only in Kazlau. If you look at this item inside of Kazlau, it automatically crashes. That is hilarious. But yeah, devs, that that's that's a bug you guys gotta look into. <laughs> I love finding bugs, don't worry. So anywho. Until then, peace out. Sister.